day. From M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland, this is the NFL on EA Sports. Glorious afternoon at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore. Here's a scene a short time ago. The Ravens introduced to this sellout crowd and through a sea of pyrotechnics, out they came from the tunnel. We're set to go as the Ravens get ready to match up with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Bradley Pinion has it teed up, and here we go with two of the most exciting offenses around as the Bucs visit Baltimore. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds, so really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Now Jackson on first down. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Devin White, he brought the pressure on the blitz, and he gets there for a loss of 12. And so much for that great field position to start the game. Now they're way behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they can open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. From the gun, it's Jackson. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Lamar it. Jackson, such it. a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. With nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job, CD. Got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. Dancing to his left. He's going to take off with it. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Well, you know, paramount for this defense is trying to keep Lamar Jackson somewhat contained when he tries to run. They did a pretty good job of it there. And you know what's so difficult for every defense that has to prepare for Lamar Jackson? You have to think and play at the same time. And I know that sounds like something you're supposed to do. But when you have to think about your assignments against him, it often slows down your feet. You don't move as fast. You got to be prepared for this guy every step of the way and then try and match his athleticism. It's Jackson, and he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Well, he had success earlier in the drive, keeping it himself, not here yet. And sometimes when you have that kind of success, you can fall in love with the option a little bit too much and not give the defense credit for making adjustments themselves. And that play starts to lose its effectiveness. He's going to take, and I think the ball's out, and it's picked up by the Buccaneers. Tampa Bay coming out along with a man who needs no introduction, the great Tom Brady. And what I'm looking for from him today, the things every quarterback is looking to do, lead his team to a victory. Doesn't matter whether he's throwing it, running it, handing it off, however he has to do it, as well as exhibiting some leadership, that's what he's trying to accomplish. 
Brady and the Bucks now with a first and 10 at their own 19 yard line. A first carry for Leonard Fournette. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 11, he goes down. He lost nine there. That's really going to set him back for second down. Well, there they went blitz defensively, Charles, and things were paved well coming from the linebacker position. I love the way that you described it, paved well. Oftentimes, the guy who gets home on the blitz, he's going to get all the credit, but his teammates did all the dirty work, right? They ran into people on purpose. They sometimes tugged on jerseys to hold linemen to create space and gaps. And that play finished off really, really well. Well conceived. And oh, his first carry, he loses the football. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And this is going to be brought back for a Baltimore touchdown. Huge, huge play by the defense, not only to force the fumble, obviously, but to return it for a touchdown. And I know it's no fun for anyone who plays offense, but isn't it fun to see how a defense rallies when there's a fumble return and everyone tries to find someone to block and bring it all the way home? Well, I always like their celebrations because they don't get there that often. No, they're not choreographed very well, usually. <laughs> lead at 7-0. The scoop and score always an exciting play in football and we witnessed it there grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And this offense trotting back onto the field. Let's turn our attention here to Ronald Jones. He's probably a little angry at himself. It was his fumble, obviously, a moment ago that led to the scoop and score touchdown that has him down early. And now we find out about the psychology aspect of being a coach. Because when you have a guy that's just happened, some people want to take him out of the game immediately. Others say, you know something? Let's feed him the ball again next series and see if he's going to be able to atone for it. Let's see what they decide to do. On second and nine, Brady. It's complete to Brown, right side. One of the things you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Throwing is Brady on third down. He's got Evans. First catch there for Evans, good enough for a first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Now a first down carry by Jones. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. On second and 11 now, Brady. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Brady. He's going deep for Brown. And that will be incomplete. They weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. This is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. At their own 20 Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. Yeah, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football, 
doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. And he's stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. From the 25 on second down, Jackson. And now he's going to use his legs. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. Edwards now on first and ten. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second and seven, Jackson. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 40. A good pick up there, 26 yards. That is definitely what we call on defense an uh -oh play. And what you mean by that is against Lamar Jackson. When you see him out of the pocket, your first thought is, uh-oh, he's going to try and run it. How do I get to him and get him on the ground? And guess what? That didn't happen, and his receivers took advantage. On first and 10, it's Dobbins. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. From the gun, Jackson out to his left. They'll try and run it. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Scampering home from 19 yards out. And the Ravens will extend their lead. And there he had to break multiple tackles to earn that touchdown. Bottom line, he earned that touchdown. Indeed he did. That was pretty much a get off of me run and all the way into the end zone. Tucker with the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This will make it into the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? Turnover, you just noted it punt's on the first better. Punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn into first downs and hopefully the punts. Two yards, the last second and 12. At the 19-yard line. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches' two-minute drill. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. 
It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. When Mike Evans sees man coverage, I don't think he's the only guy who gets excited. I guarantee the guy throwing the ball does because guess what? He's got a lot of options about where to place it because of Mike Evans' size and frame. And Brady's throw there incomplete. He was looking for Chris Godwin that time. And that'll bring up second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Brady will try again on second down. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Derek Wolf popping in for the sack. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get upfield and get after the quarterback. Been such an impressive first half to get that lead. The sack backs him up third and long. Tough challenge for Brady in the box. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Brown. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up four. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. At their own five -yard Lamar Jackson marching back onto the field. A big reason why they've been so successful. This defense hasn't been able to contain him when he gets outside of the pocket. So true, and that's where it's really difficult because defensively you can have a game plan and try to account for all the things you've seen on tape, the way that they run their plays, even his running. But when it's a play where you just can't really say, okay, that's how the play's supposed to go, what they call broken plays, that's when the X and O doesn't work. That's when their Jimmy is better than your Joe. Now they're just going to run it here up the middle. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Brings up second and two. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a terrific first half from the dual-threat quarterback, Lamar Jackson. His guys have a two-touchdown lead as we hand it back over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. A two-touchdown game, 14-0 to score as we get rolling again here in this second half. Taken about seven yards deep. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. That's what we are. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start in the third quarter. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? We we'll find out pretty quickly here if they thought they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. Takes this one across the 35 to the 36, a gain of about four. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. 
Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 14 yards there and a Buccaneer first down. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Running on first down is Jones, but he's not going to get much. Maybe a couple. And it's second down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. What's that, five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. Matthew Judon in there to take him down. Well, the defense was in prevent. They still get there. That means that there's absolutely nowhere to throw the football. No one came open, because now you're really getting three guys rushing the quarterback. Five guys should be able to block them, but sometimes time just takes it up and end up getting to him. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're cheating right there on the brink, aren't they? And Brandon, this is the time of the game when Jackson could really take over. He's got the defense's legs a little bit tired. He's got them on the run. Yeah, this defense looks gassed, and you're exactly right. Second half with the lead, this is when Lamar Jackson seems to thrive. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. That's going to be a loss of 18. Second down. Final minute now of the third quarter. On second and a long way to go. Jackson, now he'll pull it down. Finding room at the 30. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. A breakdown defensively there as the scramble is going to set him up with a much more manageable third down. The best quarterbacks that ever played the game all wanted to blend in with their teammates and be one of the guys. But sometimes you got to take modesty and put it aside. You're the franchise quarterback, the face of the team, and the guy that leads them to victory. You have to get down and protect yourself and not take hits like that. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before yeah, going out of bounds. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Now, that was a whole lot of open space out in front of him, wasn't it? I'm telling you, Brandon, when things are going right, they are going right. And everything has been going their way for the most part. I saw that lane start to develop. Boom, he took advantage of it. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. 
but the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Second down, a run with Dobbins. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Well, Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Jackson from the shotgun. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 19. Excellent play there on third down. Give them 25 yards. Big hook up there. Forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Here's Dobbins. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, break it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the yeah, 7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice pickup. 10 yards and a first down on the keeper. Well, that's the fear any defense has when the quarterback gets involved in the running game. You don't usually account for him, and he's hurting them today. Yeah, he's been very involved in the running game. Defensively, when you've got the coverage good downfield, how do you account for him, though? Occasionally, you start to spy him. Take someone who has the same agility, who can dance with him, run with him, and try and keep him in the pocket. Yeah, that'll be especially critical here as we come down the stretch in the fourth. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. J.K. Dobbins, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Ravens will add on to their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. The bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This taken in about four yards deep. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked out officially at the 21. At their own 21 Back now comes Tampa Bay. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? The throw over the middle, taken in, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. If he's their best threat on offense, use your number one cover guy on defense. It doesn't matter about size. They have had him locked up. That just his first catch of the game. Big reason why they're down. 
Now Jones with a nice burst there on first down as he'll be taken down, but not before a gain of seven yards. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity, usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. From the gun on third down, Brady. Open man has got what it's complete. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. A run with Jones on first down, not going to yield much. A yard top, second down coming up. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Shotgun now for Brady. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. Come on, man, come on. Well, they'll get the yardage, but they hate to see him take that hit. You're always trying to cool off a big-time guy throwing the ball, but you have to know when to back off, pull up, and not hit him. There's the penalty. After the penalty, it's Jones. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little. And he hauls it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. Tom Brady with a touchdown pass to Chris Godwin. And the Bucs are able to cut in now to that deficit. And that touchdown puts us in a position to have a discussion, doesn't it? Now, it'll be a two-score game after the conversion. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt with a two-score game, they're going to have to onside kick it. We'll just see if they've got a miracle up their sleeve. And you wonder what onside kicks they're going to use and in what sequence if they hope to have a chance to win this game. Ryan Suckup on for the point after. It's up, it's good, and that'll cut the lead to 21-7. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. Bradley Pinion to kick off for Tampa Bay. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. carry by Edwards and he is met quickly in the backfield down he goes folded like a lawn chair now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football game first play of the drive goes the wrong way here's second and 12 a shotgun snap and he gets it down it. and he'll get this one up to the 26. 
Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. On third down, Jackson flush to his right. He can run for it, and he will. He'll have a first down past the 40. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. That is an absolute backbreaker. That was a design passing play, wasn't a draw. You think you got him stopped, good coverage downfield, and he's able to pick up the first with his legs defensively. That kicks into your psyche and hurts a little bit, doesn't it? It certainly does, and, and here's the thing. Anytime you give up a first down, it hurts you psychologically, but it hurts more when they get it this way because you've covered everything. He didn't have any place to throw the football. He takes off running and picks it up anyway, and now you have to stay on the field for an extra set of downs. And really could have used that stop trailing here in the fourth. And despite the late lead, Jackson to throw. And he's going to keep it here. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Able to find a lot of empty space there. Picking up the first down in a 21-yard game. Partner, it's often the man coverage is easier for a quarterback to run against. You get your receivers going downfield. Those guys are staying with them, and oftentimes they have their back to the quarterback, which opens up a lot of space and room, and they don't even know that he's taken off with it. What a big-time pickup on that play. Jackson on first down, being chased out left. He'll run it, and they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And it's caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. From 17 yards out as the Ravens push further out in front. Well, this is long since over, and some might see this as overkill, but remember, this is a team that puts on the hard hats, grabs the lunch pail, and tells everyone, we're going to give you a full 60 minutes, and that's exactly how they're playing this one out. Tucker now for the extra point. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So the Ravens will keep the offense on the field as they're going to go for two. Now it's Jackson. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. And that one drops to the ground, incomplete. Clock stops here, just inside of 20 seconds, 19 left. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Taken at the 15, a short kick. Lane opens here, he's past the 30. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 34-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the Bucks. Language of the guys on the field now, and if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one.
One final try now for Brady. He's going to let it fly. And this is taken in at the five. And a little bit of a consolation prize there. He's into the end zone. Won't win him the game, but they do get the score with all zeros showing. But some fantasy players are really happy with that score. Doesn't affect the outcome, but hey, nice job there to put it in the end zone for the final play. Could it affect other things? Sometimes the, these types of scores are ones that we don't consider big at the time. Then later on, we'll find out maybe that was a tiebreaker. Yeah. Or, of course, in the fantasy yeah. football world, these points mean a lot. A lot there. Extra point up and good by Succo. And that cuts this lead down to 13. Well, on the one side, if you try to take away something positive from this game, they played to the final whistle, getting the touchdown there on the last play. But still, all for naught, really. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say give them points for positivity. I like that. That part is good. But I often wonder, when the game is settled and the clock is run out, do we really need to kick the extra point? Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's silly. It's it, silly. It doesn't make any sense to me. I know.